Hi, this is Dave from the Center for Writing and Rhetoric at Ole Miss. Uh, in this screencast, what I'm going to do is walk you through setting up a Gmail email address. For our ePortfolios this semester, we're going to be using Google Sites. And to use Google Sites, you need a Google account. If you already have a Gmail account, that's fine. You should just use that. You don't need to follow this screencast. But if you don't, I'm going to show you how to set one up. So for the purposes of the ePortfolio, we're just going to make sure that everyone has an email address at gmail.com and also that the Google site that they create for their ePortfolio is run through that gmail.com address. So here we are at www.google.com, which is a website that I'm sure is familiar to a lot of you. I just got to it by typing in the uh, URL into my browser. And as you see, this is the usual space where you'd enter a, a query to search the internet. But if you look up here, we see some of the other services that Google provides, one of which is Gmail. So I'm going to click on the Gmail link. Uh, it's going to bring me up bring up a, a sign-in page. Since I don't have a Gmail account, what I'm going to do is click on Create an Account. And that's going to bring up a pretty standard web form where all I need to do is enter some personal information so that I can create my account. Uh, so I put in my first and last name. I'm going to choose a login name. I'm going to check that it's available. I'm going to enter a password, making sure that it is strong. And that's about it. Um, aside from some extra questions that I'll let you answer on your own, after which I'm going to click I accept create my account. Once I finish that, they're going to bring me to this page that just in, uh, congratulates me for creating a new Gmail account. And all I need to do is click on show me my account and I am set up. So that's about it. We have our Gmail address set up. This is the Gmail interface on the web that you can sign into uh, through google.com. And what I'll show you in the next screencast is how to use this Gmail account to then create a Google site, which is what we will use for our ePortfolios this semester.